known as the Duchess of Ladbrook. <laughs> Legs of lead. Peggy, I suppose. Uh, Dolly White there. Finney, Finney will do. Dalton Finney, Sir, Your Majesty, whatever. Top. Iron Drain. Sir. It's dusty. Uh, Lily. Shorty. Uh, or the long extinct Marcia. Mikey the Pikey. Naz. <laughs> Sister Nelly of the controversial decision. Mar Baker. I just said, aka Janet. I used to have when it when I was a boy. It was Tonto, the Lone Ranger. Get up everybody. A hundred years ago when I played, um, probably anywhere across the midfield, um, normally right midfield, um, so a succession of of poor overworked uh, right backs can probably attest to the fact that I never track back, only because I'm a lazy. <laughs> The first meeting I went to in a pub in Islington called the Salmon and Compass. Seven of us with three Egyptians kicking a ball around in Kensington Gardens. Uh, scored a hat trick and the club won its first ever game 5 2. July 92, Market Road, greeted by the massive smile of Ashley Pitter. My first training session and I turned up. The same day that Andy Wormsley, you, and Pete Shuttleworth uh, turned up. So I guess my first thought was, fucking hell, what a bunch of ugly. I thought to myself, oh, you know, gay people playing football, they can't be very good. Turned up for my first training session. First 10 shots that were shot at me all went into the top corner, and I thought to myself, bloody hell, this lot can play. Scoring past Eric in Dublin from 25 yards, and then him claiming it wasn't a goal. Day one at Hurlingham, um, it was more fear than, than memory. It was just it was trying to fend off both Roger Bromley and um, Bill White. <laughs> Didn't have a stick big enough. <laughs> For the future and our goals inside. In Berlin in 1995, I was player manager and Stonewall won the World Cup for the first time ever. So that was a great moment. Always dreamed of winning the World Cup as a little boy, so uh, it wasn't quite the, the real World Cup, but pretty good. And then someone said, Paul, did you realise you're the first England captain since Bobby Moore to lift the World Cup? And I thought, it's made me proud, that has. Yeah, it, it was. Scoring that goal in Cologne was the most amazing experience. I loved it every minute, especially as Chris Worth had me on the bench. And I scored the winning goal. Chris Worth. I love you. <laughs> that trip to Cleveland, Ohio last year, and just just sinking the Belgrano really. That was a good cherished moment, I think. <laughs> and it's in the goal! In the what corner! A what a goal there by Lennon! Can you believe it? Top corner! What a goal! It's usually night out with Neil Walsh. <laughs> you like this one, don't you? <laughs> there are several, <laughs> uh, but I think the one that's probably overall is we, I think we won a competition, I believe it was the Euro Games in Copenhagen and uh, we were celebrating in a bar quite late afterwards and I think someone was playing pool and all the rest of it and I needed to go to the toilet but I couldn't find the toilet so I decided to piss out the window at the bar which was on a couple of Stonewall players down below. <laughs> I think probably in the changing room in Argentina when I sat down on a chair and it collapsed underneath me in front of everyone that was, that was a good one too so probably that one. Listening to Eric talk about his penalty saves, it's pretty, it's pretty embarrassing. Oh man, have you ever seen me play football? Um, I, oh, probably the worst, probably the single worst thing is, is um, when I showed up to watch the game and we didn't have to play ourselves, see I got roped in and uh, all they could conjure up was two left boots. So I literally played a game of football with two left feet. <laughs> didn't noticeably affect my performance. <laughs> <laughs> get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. 
<laughs> Contrary to popular belief, I do have a personality. I would distinctly remember Andy Mack, God rest his soul, bless him. Get over yourself, love. Uh, it saying that he took an ice cube from the bowl. <laughs> this is true. He took an ice cube from the bowl of ice cubes or the bin of ice cubes that was on the bar, stuck, stuck it up where the sun didn't shine, and then put it back into the bowl. <laughs> Quite often when we travel and stuff, you do get a bit of a dicky tummy. And um, I was walking down the um, corridor of the hotel and I followed through on a fart. And um, I'm not gonna say whose room it was, but someone had left their room open and I went in and uh, wiped my ass on their towel. And then went back to my room. And I'm not gonna tell you who it was or, or, or what happened. That's that's all I'm gonna say. Well, I've never seen nobody knows, but Stonewall club nearly went down the tube some years ago and we had a meeting and we decided whether to finish up the club because we had no money and things were difficult and three people put down a thousand pounds to carry the club forward. Well there's different eras. When I first joined the club you certainly wouldn't get, want to get caught in a sword fight between Chris Worth and Roger Taylor. You'd get pummeled to death. But I think, I think overall, probably the longest in the shower would have to be Pete and Ed. Um, it's basically like a lorry driver's arm holding a melon, but wrapped in a black bin bag. It scares me. I joined Stonewell when I was really in a bad moment of my life. <laughs> Estonia gave me a lot. I really raised as a person, not just as a football player. I learned a lot. I had um, a conditional support of everyone. It was good, that's why I love this team. Oh, fuck it, make it be cry, fucking hell. It's a group of friends that I've uh, maintained through my life. Um, it means pride, um, I think it represents also a great thing for the gay community um, and it changed my life. Fun. Um, I think Stoneman Football Club means a lot, it was a, a big part of my life for well over 10 years but I mean I think it's testimony that Stoneman Football Club is, is going on stronger than ever 25 years later. I think that's a fantastic achievement for an amateur football club.